I'm just gonna stop talking because I feel like I'm offending everybody left and right and you know We live in the world that people get offended over everything because we're so sensitive So I'm just gonna stop talking and I'm gonna show you how I straighten my hair. Okay, great G She's Teresa and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome Okay, so I thought Shanice have you ever put out a how to straighten curly to straighten Curly hair to straighten hair Okay, so I did a video a few months back of me showing you how to make the perfect curls And I feel like it's time to confess the fact that I never wear my hair curly Every day my hair is straight If my hair is not straight then I go on like a workout binge And I'm sweating all the time and there's no point in me straightening my hair Which is basically telling you right now that I'm very lazy and I don't work out because I wear my hair straight all the time Hmm I prefer to wear my hair curly and by curly I mean straight because I'm exhausted right now I need some more coffee because I can't even do my fan Anyways, I prefer <sighs> I prefer to wear my hair straight because well, I feel like I look better with straight hair mind your business Bertha It is what it is. I wear my hair straight. I like it that way <sighs> Whatever Today I decided that I would show you how I achieve straight hair with curly hair because I have natural curly hair. I am half black. If you can't see, I am half black. I just, I wasn't trying to make fun of anybody that literally can't see. I'm just, uh, it's not funny. I'm going to show you how I achieve straight hair. I don't have like really coarse curly hair. Like my curls are more like bouncy and like. My mother's white, so I got half and half. You know what I'm saying? So like my curls are nice. I just like, not that, oh, I'm digging myself a hole here. Anyways, I'm just gonna stop talking because I feel like I'm offending everybody left and right And you know we live in the world that people get offended over everything because we're so sensitive So I'm just gonna stop talking and I'm gonna show you how I straighten my hair. Okay, great So I've had this towel in for quite some time because I um, ooh, she's a little dry You know what? That's okay because I just filmed another video I just put on a different sweater to pretend like well a different time different day, but it's not Oh, you know, it's a little it's, it's, it's a little wet. So you know what? We're gonna work with it when I take my hair out of curls out of curls out of a towel like the curls are so cute but as soon as I brush it it's game over but I feel like I have to brush my hair or people are gonna know that I didn't brush my hair you know what I'm saying but like if my hair can look like this every day if I wear it curly then I would wear it curly all the time you know what I'm just going to not ever brush my hair and then I would wear it curly for all those people out there that say that I should be wearing my hair curly because that's the hair I was born with mind your business Bertha anyways as I'm ranting like my skin is so dry the amount of dry pieces of mm. anyways how many times have I said that already I start off with this hot sexy hair hair whatever prep me 450 degrees Fahrenheit heat protectant to blow dry so it's blow dry primer so you put this in before you blow dry just to clarify so this is what it looks like I got it from a local hair salon it's not from the drugstore. It's expensive. This is twenty five sixty, and this is twenty five sixty. So it's expensive. Well, I mean, to me, that's expensive. How rude is it that people have to buy things to look good? You know? Rude. So I put this in all over my hair because I blow dry my hair straight first, and my hair, you'll see soon, is extremely dead. Like I never go and get haircuts, and. It shows. I probably have no use in using this, but it makes my hair look good and it says that it's helping my hair from not dying, but who really knows at this point? Like, I feel like all companies are frauds. They just say those things to sell it to you and you take it because we believe everything that everybody says. <laughs> look at that dead hair. Do you see all that? That's so dead. Ew. That's so- Ew! <gasps> That's from not using product and straightening your hair your whole entire life. Before I used this stuff, I was using nothing, which damaged my hair more, and I haven't caught it cut yet. When you're straightening your hair, the way you typically part your hair, like if you part it off to the side, this is where you part it that way. Don't part it down the middle if you don't wear your hair parted. And if you're like me that doesn't part their hair, like I am a flip back and forth type of girl, like I don't have parts in my hair, then always go down the middle because things can get a little... I just lost an earring. 
put that in a clip to hold back and not get in my way and then I blow dry this section first and I blow dry this section of my hair to this side of my body don't blow dry it up and back and around like blow dry it the way that it grows yeah um, to straighten your hair, get a blow dryer that has this piece to it. I don't know what this piece is called. Typically, blow dryers just come like this. I mean, maybe some of them come with pieces, but this piece will save your life and change your straightening game. And then you just blow dry your hair down. practically dry before I blue dry it blue dry it before I blow dried it straight sometimes English is very hard it's a little more puffier but the th beneficial the, the benefits of blow drying your hair straight before you stri um, straight before you flat iron it Jesus like when you use a flat iron you can't directly get to your roots like unless you want to burn your freaking skull but it's nice to blow dry it straight first because then when you do straighten it with the blow dryer it straightens the ends for you so it makes it a better and cleaner job in the end i don't know what i'm saying i'm honestly i feel like i like i make things up no i've been straightening my hair for years that is facts i only speak facts and not lies so <laughs> anyways then I clip that up because now I'm gonna blow dry the other side and I just don't want to get in the way of this progress okay so now that both sides of your hair are blow dried straight this is time for us to start our journey to straightening I section this first so I go from my ear down like top of my ear I section my hair down and I put this up with a big clip then I take the same product that I took before but this is for before you straighten it so the product I used before was before you blow dry it straight and this is before you flat iron it straight so so this is another protectant just so you don't ruin your hair but my hair is already ruined so it's kind of like pointless but whatever spray on a nice amount be generous it's probably the best product I've ever used to straighten my hair because it makes my hair look so silky and soft and smooth it's so nice and then I take my ionic straightener that I've literally had since I was probably 12 when I started straightening my hair literally this is so old but it still works and it's dusted and crusted and falling apart but she is holding it together she's my a1 day one I love her we still use her she's thriving so she helps us thrive okay hair at 400 degrees Fahrenheit because I like this ish to get done quick and I like it to be slick and straight I know they say that if you go to 400 you're killing your hair which Duh, my hair is dead so that's the first side so let's just get the other side done the exact same way I needed to change what I was wearing because I just couldn't function with that hood flap thing okay okay This is what I mean by like I flip my hair back and forth. So tips for you, um, obviously part your hair in the way that your hair lays. So if you are one that, I mean, ugh, I don't know why people do this, but if you don't touch your hair ever, ew, I look awful. But if you don't touch your hair ever and you like that side part, well, there you put it. If you want to lay your hair, ugh, whatever, I look ugly, I can't do that. Always part your hair where your pair, no. Always part your hair where your hair lies or where you want it to go. Tip number two, always straighten your hair, blow dry it straight and flat iron it straight the direction you want your hair to lay. Always use protectant on your hair. Don't pull a chenise and kill your hair. But those products that I have used, which I will show you again, these have been my favorite products to use lately. I got these probably December, I believe, and I've used them since then. But those are my favorite products. It makes my hair nice and silky and 
smooth and shiny and like straight. You don't need an expensive blow dryer or a straightener. My straightener is from a salon, so it was a little expensive, but back then expensive is not expensive as in straighteners these days. The blow dryer I'm pretty sure came from Walmart so like you don't need expensive things to straighten your hair. I mean the products I did put in my hair were on the expensive side but I'm sure you can even find stuff from Walmart or something to straighten your hair. As long as you put some kind of primer protectant in your hair because heat ruins your hair so quickly and the fact that I straighten my hair all the time well that's why my hair is like fried to a crisp and that's my fault and because I didn't use protectant before. Anyways I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped some of you, one of you, none of you, I guess. I don't know. I'm just killing my hair. I know I am, but this is the routine that I use. Those are the things I use, and this is how I do it. Anything that I said in this video will help anybody in any way, if your hair is curly or not. Like, these are steps that you still need to take if you want to straighten your hair. Anyways, that is all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that this helped you. I don't know if you can find these products where you live, but those are the products that I have available to me where I am. I will catch you next time in my next video video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Click that little notification bell so you don't miss a post from me because you won't regret it. And if you have any suggestions of what videos you want to see from me, let me know down below and I will catch you sooner or later. Probably later because, you know, I don't have time for everything in this world. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye queens. Yes queens. burned my face.